Okay, hello everyone. Today we will see the management of acute diarrhea at uh, clinic. So using uh, plan B. And uh, here we have also the title. These are the learning objectives. After you study the session, you will be able to describe how plan B is given. Counsel the caregiver to give RS in the clinic and treat diarrhea. Some dehydration at clinic using plan B. So when you come to the plan B or children with some dehydration, a child or a young infant with some dehydration needs fluid, zinc supplementation and food. So you will give zinc as just as you will for plan A. And how plan B is given? So plan B begins with four hour treatment period at the clinic. So during the four hours, the mother slowly gives a recommended amount of ORS. If a child who has some dehydration needs treatment or other problems, you should start treating the dehydration first, then provide other treatments later. So after four hours of treatment at the clinic, you will assess and classify the child dehydration. So concerning this topic, we will see next how we will reassess and classify the child's dehydration after four hours. If the signs are gone or if there are no signs of dehydration, you can put the child on plan A for home treatment and if there is still some dehydration, we have to repeat plan B at the clinic and if the child now has severe dehydration, put the child on plan C. So the next question is, what happens if a child has a severe classification and needs plan B? A child who has a severe classification and some dehydration needs urgent referral to hospital. So if there is severe classification and classified as or needs uh, plan B, we have to urgently refer to hospital. And here another very important point is, don't try to rehydrate the child before he leaves. So quickly give the mother some or resolution and show her how to give urgencies to child on the way to the hospital. Second question, how will you teach the caregiver to give ORS in the clinic if there is no referral? So the first thing that you should do is, one, you should determine the amount of ORS to give during four hours. So in order to determine the amount of ORS required for the next four hours, we have to use chart plan B or table 2 next slide to determine how much ORS will be uh, given. So we'll see it next time. And to find the recommended amount, look below child's weight or only age if the weight is not known. So you can use the weight if age is not known. And the child will usually want to drink as much as he needs. If the child wants more or less than the estimated amount, give him what he wants. The mother should also breastfeed whenever the baby wants to learn, then resume the R solution. So this is the table to uh, approximate amount of R solution to be given in the first four hours. So here we have uh, 
three options we have age weight and or resolution in ml so you can use either age or weight of the child or young infant so that for example if age of the child or young infant is less than four months the or the or solution that is required in ml will be from 200 to 400 ml will be given so here use the patient's age only when you don't know the weight and the approximate amount of ORS required in ml can also be calculated by multiplying the patient's weight in kilogram times by 75 so here we can multiply the weight of the child by 25 and we can easily estimate the amount of resolution required in ml so this is very important table in order to estimate the amount of solution that is required in the first four hours second question is we have to show the mother how to give our solution find a comfortable place in the clinic for the mother to sit with her child and we should tell her how much our solution to be given over the next four hours based on the table that we have seen before and show her the amount in units that are used in your area and if the child is less than two years show her how to give a spoonful frequently and if the child is older show her how to give two sips from a cup sit in there with she gives the child the first few sips from a cup or a spoon and finally uh, we should ask her if she has any questions what will you do while the mother gives ORS for four hours so here we have to show the caregiver where to wash her arms and where she can change the child's nappy or where the child can use a toilet second we have to check with the mother from time to time to see if she has problems here if the child is not drinking the OR solution well try another method of giving the solution so you may try using a dropper or a syringe without the needle so this also provides a valuable time to teach the mother about the care for her child and the first concern here is to rehydrate the child so when the child is obviously improving the mother can turn her attention to learning so that teach her about mixing and giving or a solution as that of planning it is a good idea to have printed information that the mother can study while she is sitting with her child or you can also use posters on the wheel that also reinforce this information for the purpose of counseling Here, these are the tips for the young infant so during the first four hours of rehabilitation encourage the mother to pause to breastfeed the infant whenever the infant went then resume giving worries give a young infant who does not breastfeed an additional 100 to 200 ml of clean water during this period and the another important question is how will you reassess the child after four hours so previously i tried to show you or tell you some of the mechanisms how we we reassess the child after four hours so that after four hours you will reassess the child using the assess and the classify chart i will show you next and classify dehydration to the appropriate plan to continue treatment and if the child is not taking the water solution or seems to be getting worse reassess before four hours period and how will you assess the depending on the classification you will take further actions so after four hours of treatment if the child has no dehydration move to plan a 
comes to one phone care to the mother if the child has some dehydration we have to repeat plan b and begin feeding the child including you can offer food milk or juice continue to breastfeed from continue if the child is breastfeed and if the child is worse and now has severe classification or severe dehydration begin plan c so this is the access and classify chart so based on that after if after four hours of treatment the child is classified as severe dehydration we have to start plan c and if the infant or that of the young child is classified as some dehydration we have to repeat we have to repeat and if there is no any significant sign or if no source of if there is no dehydration we can counsel the mother to start plan a treatment at home so this is the chart that we use so warning if the child's eye are puffy it is a sign of overhydration and it is not a danger sign or a sign of hypernatremia it is simply a sign that the child has been hydrated and does not need any more or solution at this time the child should be given clean water or breast milk or ORS according to plan A when the puffiness is gone. So what happens if a caregiver must leave before finishing 4 hours of ORS? So here we have to show the caregiver how to prepare ORS solution and have her practice. We have to show her how much ORS to give to complete the 4 hour treatment at home. Third, give her packets of ORS to complete rehydration plus two more packets are recommended in plan A. And finally, key four rules of home treatment. We have to explain about the four rules of home treatment. So as you know from the previous discussions, these are the four rules of home treatment. These are, we have to counsel the mother to give extra fluids such as child will take. Second, we have to give zinc supplement based on age of the young infant or the child for uh, 10 days. We have to counsel or instruct the mother to continue feeding and we have to tell the mother when to return so these are the uh, references you can refer also for more information about the management of acute diarrhea at clinic using plan b thank you